Yes, yes, nice to crew back once again with another video and today I am going to be showing you a little bit of archiving that I've been doing. Um, I've basically been using this program which is pretty sick man. It's called FixDisk V1.5, version 1.5. And this is like a, a program on the Amiga uh, that you use, you use to clean your discs. Not clean your discs but like archive your discs. Um, and sometimes when a disc doesn't work well, I'd literally just get one of these air spray things I got this from Aplins God bless them you know what I mean they you know they're closing down soon I might have to get a few of these cans in they're about 12.95 on that on the on or, or in Maplins no you know quite cheap to get and basically um how it works here is I'll put a disc in the Amiga and when it doesn't work I will call up this program I'm going to demonstrate that now real quick now you can see some of the uh, old songs I've got on disc here um, and I've literally just found these so I'm going to sort of leave this sort of minimalize it for this for a second and, and it basically will copy all your files to RAM disk and That one just copied with no problems first of all the disk wouldn't read if you look here on the on the workbench look The disk won't actually read it just comes up PC zero and DFO busy So it doesn't actually work that way. Yeah, but then as soon as you put it into this program this program does its magic man and it fixes it. I've got myself some isopropyl on eBay. One thing I do say, bro, make sure you ventilate the room. Otherwise, the fumes are not really good for you. Okay. Big massive can. I just literally get a Q tip and I just clean my ears. No. <laughs> and I just clear I just clean my disc. Kind of, I can't do it with one hand, but you basically pull that back and you just literally, you know, put that on there. Clean it, I'll demonstrate. Okay, so you can see the song here, Dream Science, yeah? Uh, it's making a little bit of a dodgy disc noise. Check this out. Okay, so here's where we start, yeah? Okay, so phase one. I'm gonna grab the disc. Going to get the isopropyl, not isopropyl, sorry, the air. Give it a good blow. The idea is to free up any loose particles that lying about that might actually scratch the disc. I did actually do a little bit of this before I put it in. Second phase, get your Q-tip and your isopropyl juice. Right, get your busy juice, get your isopropyl juice. And then I'm literally just going to gently rub all around the disc here, look, see it? And I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the disc. I think I have done a video about this before. And I'm gonna hold this open here and I'm gonna just keep turning the disc around and the disc is actually quite hard to turn so that's probably that grinding noise you can hear in there maybe it's the dust in there stopping it doing that I don't know but I'd love to know the mechanics of a disc why it makes that noise because if we can figure out why it makes that noise then obviously we can figure out how to fix it I'm guessing there's something in there that's worn or some dust is causing some friction and it's making that noise. Now obviously that friction is not a good thing because it's probably scratching the living daylights out of you know the disc or whatever that's left over. But my plan is now to clean this as best as I can and the, the good thing is about the isopropyl is that it it, it, it um, evaporates as soon as you put it on there and with that final blow that I'm going to give it in a minute um, it will help it to dry faster so I literally keep on going around till I feel like I've gone around maybe one or two times see that's starting to spin a little bit easier now funny enough right and then I'll flip that over and then I'll do a similar thing the opposite way around on the other side just keep on going through getting a knack to this now all right done this on so many of these discs and I managed to get some good results like see now it's erroring from here we might have to go into stage uh, phase three which is to use the, the, fis the fixed disc all right so all right so that's gone around a few times now one more blow again with some the old isopropyl not on the actual disc there remember here so you're blowing air inside and this is the air that, like I said, I've got this from Macklin's. Right, so I'll give them that a blow now. Now let's try it back in the machine. So we're gonna pop it back in. Okay, 
Now, it's still making that funky noise, so obviously it hasn't done it total good justice. So now we're gonna to go to stage three. So we cleaned it up, and then I'm gonna go back into my Fix This program, which is in the Workbench 2. Now this, this program comes with one of my WH Load uh, compact flash drives with tons of stuff on it, yeah? Uh, so I'll go to the Fix Disk, find that software, Fix disc, where is it? Fix disc. I'll get you a bit closer there, now you can see it. So the, that's the old fix disc here. I'm going to load that. Click OK. That will run. And then I select my DH0 drive. DH0. And then I go disc, insert disc, which is already is. Click OK. And then if you watch, it will scan through the whole disc, right? and then it, it will copy the contents to RAM. It's gonna find some errors along the way and you literally just keep on ignoring them. You can press retry a few times. I've done that a couple of times, it's worked. You can try little other tricks. The old Equinox, take it out, put it back in trick. Hit retry, see if that helps. Because remember, the disc has got some isopropyl on it, so it may help. Right, so no, that didn't work, so let's see. So I'm gonna keep doing it. And again, Ignore, now you're getting a bit of movement now, it's starting to move. And then you just keep on going like that until it reaches the end. So I'm gonna skip forward and then see you in on the other side. Okay guys, so after a long old battle, lots of stops, it was giving me lots of problems, uh, I managed to get to this page. So once you get to this page now, you hit that and you, you hit select copy files. Now, uh, hopefully this will copy around all the dodgy sectors you're going to get some dodgy ones on the way as you can see look it's pulling off from the disc and hopefully you won't get any errors if you do not to worry just keep on going and then see what you're left with at the end of it there's two forms of uh, archive you can do this one is looking good so far it's done quite a bit of data but let's see how we get on okay so here we go we hit stop and it says read error block blah blah, blah. hit ignore okay so it's given up so it's saying that one's buckled. So you try again, copy files, and now you try the header version. And let's see if the header version will work. Now this one's a little bit less rigorous or more rigorous, I'm not sure, one or the other. Ooh, this disc is really, really bad. Okay, so we're gonna go ignore again. No, it's not having it. This is not a good demo. Right, I'm gonna try to do some more cleaning, see where. Hey guys, as you can see from the marks here, I've literally uh, poured a few drops of isopropyl on either side, cleaned it out, then got the air uh, blower. You can see it's still a little bit wet. Got the air blower and just gave it a real good blow. Now let's see what happens. Okay, guys, making some more progress, I think, this time. Let's try. Ooh, come on. Retry, retry. Pull it out, put it in again because that isopropyl is still wet. Make sure you ventilate the room. Otherwise, the fumes might go to your head. And again, and again. Out and in. Oh, come on, come on. All right, got more, more air now. Boy, that's enough air. This better be a good tune. Make sure you ventilate the room. Okay, you're not coming back from that, B. Ignore. All right, let's go. Come on. The fumes won't be no good for you. Retry. Ignore. All right, I'm gonna keep trying, peeps, till I get there. Ooh. Now, nah, bro, make sure you open the window because the fumes are too strong. Actually, sounding healthy now. Let's see what we get. Okay, guys, so I've I loaded up another bit of software called Xcopy, and I've set up the start. I've gone to the start drive and the destination drive, and I've just pressed the old check disk. And as you check disk, it will run through your disk, and it will check the upper side. And the lower side of the disc so assuming the upper side is like obviously that side the lower side is like that side yeah and it will check it for errors and then they'll come up as little n red numbers if there's an error so as you can see the same disc that's been giving us loads of grief seems kind of okay but then when you get down to about here you can see it starts to show all these numbers here so from here now Maybe the upper side needs a bit more work on cleaning. So guys, after cleaning again, look, I've got one red now. 
So now I'm going to try the same archive again and see what happens. Okay guys, after using those deeper an analysis tools, this one actually went straight to this screen without one error. So I'm going to go copy selected files again and hit blocks and hopefully this will work. And I'm going to call this Dream Science. Actually no, because I had to restart the Amiga actually. But let me just call it Dream Science 3 anyway, just to be on the safe side. And I hit done. And then let's let that run through. It's running smooth. Now hopefully this will work. Shout out to Ultrafrex1. Comment just came in there. <laughs> Still going peeps oh here we go round two this is looking much better so bringing x copy into it to analyze the disk surface and which one needs cleaning the most is uh, definitely a good option now fingers crossed i'm gonna wait this one out there you have it guys all done and now into the ram disk so now i'm gonna get back I can't wait to see what's going on here if this works because this was some serious perseverance. This is actually the most stubborn one I've had to do, but because I'm doing a tutorial, I just didn't want to lose, so I just had to just make sure uh, that you know we got this done. So let's go to here, go to my audio apps again, load up the Octomed. I'm trying to get hold of Octomed 5, man. And does anyone know how to turn an ADF into an image on an Amiga? That's something I want to learn to do uh, without getting that HXC emulator thingy majiggy, right? So Boom, put that there. Volumes, RAM disk. Boom, loaded. There you go, peeps. All done, all working. So, so there you go, peeps. That is how you persevere to get your disks archived. Hope this you guys find this useful, those you've got Amigas and trying to recover your disc. That's the way forward. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and also more retro uploads. Take care, God bless, peace.